what's going on YouTube? It's Gabriel with another fan TV. Back at another video. If you like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel. Please go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Ravens Daily. More videos coming. I'm going to have the training camp video coming up right after this one. But the Ravens hit us with a lot of news today, so I wanted to break it up into two videos. All right. First of all, they they, they signed uh, veteran cornerback Daryl Worley. Um, Ravens said they needed some depth at cornerback, uh, dealing with some injuries, Brandon Stevens and things like that. We'll see what that means for him. Um, so they so they brought in Darrell Wood. Darrell Wood was drafted in 2016, third round draft pick. Now he could very well just be a camp body, so they can have some guys that can um, be out there on the field taking the reps and things like that. So we'll see where that progresses for him. So um, he played for the Lions last year. He was on the Cardinals practice squad last year as well. Uh, so he's kind of been a guy that's bounced around the league, you know. As I count, he's been on uh, he's been on several different teams since 2016. So he hasn't stuck anywhere too long. Um, so he could just be another camp body for the Ravens so they get through and recover for some injuries. All right. Now two big things happened today for the Ravens. Okay. Uh, Justin Tucker signed a four-year contract extension. Now this means a couple things for the Ravens. Okay. This means the fact that they saw Justin Tucker probably saw that Chris Boswell got paid. And became, I believe, the highest kicker in the NFL. So, Justin Tucker wanted to top that. Or, you know, the Ravens felt obliged to help him top that number. Whatever the reason is, Justin Tucker is now the highest paid kicker in the NFL. He has that title, okay? Now, so as far as the deal goes, uh, $11.5 million on the signing bonus. $17.5 guaranteed. $24 million in new money. Uh, $6 million a year, which is the highest paid kicker in the NFL. Now, Sometimes also when you extend the contract, it actually helps the team out. So I'm wondering if this extension will actually help the Ravens with some cap space. We know like they signed Daryl Worley, but we know they probably got to sign some outside linebackers and things like that. I was more surprised the Ravens didn't sign an outside linebacker before a corner, but it is what it is. But Tucker deserves his extension. He deserves to be the highest paid kicker. He is the, in my opinion, the best kicker of all time. You can look at the numbers, look at the stats. 66 yard field goal last year. He has everything to back it up. He's that good. Um, so he deserves to be that, and um, I'm glad the Ravens did that for him. Now, the last piece of big news today is J.K. Dobbins returned to the practice field. Now, back a couple weeks ago, or I guess a week and a half ago, I made the video about Ravens training camp day one, and J.K. Dobbins trying his hardest to get on the field, talking to the GM, talking to the owner, talking to Harbaugh, the coach, and they all kind of shutting him down, telling him no. Uh, so that's not here anymore. He's been activated off the pup list. He's officially practicing and he's back out there. Now I will say a couple things. It's his first day of practice guys. So any Twitter videos you see a JK Dobbin by the Ravens or whoever, don't overanalyze it. It's literally his first day back doing football activities and full pads. Give him a chance to recover. You know what I'm saying? I always see people say, Oh wow. Like he's favoring that leg a little bit. I mean, of course he just had a major knee injury. Give him a chance. Give him, give him a chance to get back into that rhythm before we make judgments on that. Um, but I will say this. I, ho I do hope the Ravens are not, not, not the Ravens. I hope J.K. himself is not rushing back because he's been chomping at the bit to go. Like, obviously, since day one of training camp. And uh, Harbaugh, you know, Harbaugh and the training staff say, okay, look, you're good enough to go. So you're out here now. Now, this is great for the Ravens. He's their star running back. He can be the workhorse guy, especially if Gus is down um, going into week one versus the Jets. We'll see what happens. Now, he has a lot of time to ramp up to that game, and I hope it's done wisely. I hope it's done well and that this wasn't a rush back onto the field. But all in all, I'm excited to see J.K. Dobbins on the field. The Ravens hit us with a lot of news today, signing a new player, extending Justin Tucker, getting J.K. Dobbins back on the field. So a lot of Ravens news happened today, so I wanted to get this quick update on it. And um, I'm about to drop the Ravens training camp video for what happened today as well. And uh, you guys watch out for that one. Uh, uh, watch out for that one as well. All right, it's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.